City Boy is up 9,000 million points. So apparently, this man, Braden Walton, decided it was a good idea to go on a solo vacation when his girlfriend couldn't pay for her expenses. And I love this. I love this for men. Listen, she ain't got the coins. You ain't got to take her nowhere. Stop taking these girls on vacations. They cannot take you on, all right? We need to start being reciprocal. And all y'all women saying, oh, that's sassy. Men need to be providers. Men need to be this. We don't need to do nothing. We in a recession. We don't need to do nothing, all right? City Boy is up. Brocklin, Braylon, whatever your name is, he's a genius because his girl didn't have the funds and he told her, I'm going on vacation. We splitting this half and half. All right, it's, ladies, if you were a man that split vacation half and half, you already know you with the wrong one. So she should have known already she was with a city boy and he was not going to tolerate her not having the funds to go on a vacation. So he went on a solo trip to Hawaii, visited all the islands and definitely came back to his relationship going. Can we talk about it? I'm on the fence about this because, listen, bro, you know that you must want to break up with her. If I pay for a vacation and I don't want to take you, I don't like you. You're not my girlfriend. You're not my wife. You're not nothing to me because, bro, we go to a tropical island to relax and have fun, drink um, unlimited cheap bottom shelf drinks and just have fun. If I don't want to take you because you, you ain't got the funds, that means he don't like you. All right. Vacations and excursions about a thousand dollars. All right. If you go into a nice all inclusive, you could literally spend about fifteen hundred to a thousand dollars and be good. So if he didn't want to take her and all she had to raise was like nine hundred dollars, is eight hundred dollars, something like that. All right. Ladies, if you go on a vacation with a man, I got to split that vacation with you. That ain't the man for you, all right? That ain't the man for you. Unless y'all got a committed relationship, but y'all married, y'all splitting the bills, and that's something y'all do. But men, y'all be wearing 50-50 relationships, and y'all need to be having 25, all right? So listen, leave these women alone. If you know you cannot afford that woman, leave her alone. If you know she ain't have money to go on a vacation, let's stay home. But bro, no, she gonna be, while you on that vacation, she gonna be talking to a whole nother man, getting D down. <laughs> You on vacation looking at the sun. She in somebody's house on a on a um on an air mattress with three fans going on. <laughs> Talking about he left me on vacation. I'ma go see my side man. You know what I mean? So Braylon, you definitely came home to an empty house. And if she was still there, she definitely don't like you no more. You're not gonna be listen, women are very simple. If you go places, food, uh, restaurants, clubs, any events vacation without her she gonna look at you like you are out women want if women really like you and they in a relationship with you they gonna want to live in your skin they're gonna be everywhere you go you went to that spot without her that you might as well cheated on her bro you went on a solo vacation without her she's never gonna forgive you bro and you went without her because she didn't have the money she gonna look at you like a broke boy forever even though she a broke girl even if she ain't had the money, she gonna look at you like a broke boy forever, Braylon. So you doing that, just listen. I hope you enjoyed that vacation. I hope it was like um, 90 Day Fiance where you found your wife abroad or something. Because you coming back home, you gonna come back to her. It's gonna be another dude in your house. Like, yeah, I heard you the dude that don't pay for vacations. Good looking. She gave me the best box ever. And she gonna go to get the next man that best box ever. I was just having a conversation about this. When you do certain women dirty... Especially cancer women, they not gonna say nothing. They not gonna get revenge on you. They gonna leave you alone. But best believe that next man that she's with is gonna get the best s of his life. He's gonna have a ball with her. She gonna do freak nasty things that she never did with you. All right, cause you ain't wanna take her on vacation. She gonna make sure her next man got um, freaking flying miles. He got credit card points. He got all of that. Cause she never gonna deal with a broke boy after that, bro. So you created a demon. And I love how men and women, we create this cycle with each other. Oh, we treat a woman bad. She becomes a demon. She treats another man bad. He becomes a demon. And the cycle just continues on and on. Cause you definitely made her monster. She's never dealing with a broke boy again. Listen, if we, you are my girlfriend, you ain't got it. And we going on a trip. I'm gonna take care of it. Cause I'm a real man. But not take her. I'm a little on the fence about this, all right? Because it was Hawaii. Hawaii is a little bit expensive. But still, bro, y'all should have had a contingency plan. Okay, let me take my girlfriend there. Especially if y'all had a committed relationship. That's a little different, bro. You're supposed to put that money up. If that's just your little side piece or your vacation piece or your bay, your bay boo, I got to need a new name for somebody you just go on vacations with and y'all never in a relationship. All right? I need a name for that. The... Mm, I'll figure it out. Y'all give me a name in the comment section. But I think this is nasty work, Braylon. You definitely coming home 
to she gonna bleach your clothes. Oh, hell have no fury like a woman scorned. Y'all know what I say here at the coffee show. Can we talk about it in the comment section? Going to Hawaii without your girl. Tell her you gotta put half. <laughs> Can we talk about it?